For more on the results right now, we want to bring in Stephanie Link. She is the chief investment strategist at Hightower and a CNBC contributor. And, Steph, let's just run through the numbers that we just heard. Wells Fargo, uh, Bank of America, J.P. Morgan. What's your quick takeaway? Yeah, so um, here are the themes for the fourth quarter. We probably will see better net interest income. So far, we've seen that better at Bank of America, a little bit better at Bank of America and J.P. Morgan. I don't have the Wells numbers just yet. Six That's the positive. Billion the is negatives not are going to come at the Wells Fargo. S Six point okay, three so uh, it, it's. It so and so so net interest income sensitive companies right fed funds uh, are up about 160 40 sorry 146 basis points sequentially so that benefits some of the more sensitive companies uh, wells fargo for every 100 basis point move in fed funds that's 2.6 billion in net interest income so not surprised that the numbers were pretty solid there that's the positive on the negative side clearly we're talking about uh, reserve builds uh, loan loss reserves net charges going higher but off of very, very depressed levels, Becky, right? So I'm not really very alarmed at all at, at, at those numbers. Um, expenses are probably going to be higher, but that, the key is going to be guidance. Um, the expenses have been running about 2 to 3%. We know that 55% of banks' costs are personnel, and we know the core PCE is at 4.7%. So the guidance is going to be key on expenses, and I expect those numbers for next year or for this year and for next year to actually go higher, maybe more like 4 to 5%. Where where I think Wells Fargo can kind of tweak things and actually outperform is on the expense line and, again, on the net interest income line. But so far, the numbers look pretty much in line, not really that surprising. Remember, there was a conference in December, and a lot of these companies did give out updated guidance and numbers, so not a lot of surprises. Uh, so far, if, if, I, if I look at all three, it looks like Bank of America has come in a little bit better uh, versus the other two. Give you another headline out of Wells Fargo. They're saying that credit losses have continued to increase slowly, but credit quality remains strong. Does that give you, does that kind of fit in with your yeah. theme of where the economy stands right now? Yeah, I'm a a absolutely. Look, I, I think the consumer is in better shape than people are, are thinking or talking about. Um, I think real incomes are actually going higher because wages are going up, jobs are, 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 are plentiful, uh, and, in and inflation is coming down, right? And that's a good combination for the consumer. And they've got $5 trillion of savings. So I think the consumer is okay. Um, but again, you're going to see reserve builds because Banks need to do that, given what's going on with the macro and given what people are expecting in terms of an overall slowdown. It's healthy. And these are off of very low levels, though, in terms of charge-offs and provisions and that sort of thing. So we want to see them do it because we know we're going to slow, but I don't think this is alarming by any means.